One Decatur parking lot party over the weekend led to shots fired at police officers. It happened at the intersection of Jasper and East Wood Street Saturday night. Officials say this marks a first for them, but they aren't backing down. WCI 3's Ariana Williams is with us now. Ariana, how many people were out there? The police chief tells me it was anywhere between 300 and 400 people, and it wasn't the only location for these party goers. Let's go toe to toe, uh, and we'll see how that ends. Uh, Decatur police say small gatherings during weekends aren't unusual, but on Saturday night, the unexpected happened. You couldn't navigate through here because there was just so many cars and so many people. They were parking several blocks away and walking down to it. Police say they spent the night breaking up pop-up parties, but every time they broke one up, partiers will move to another location. It's sad that, you know, that small number of people think that, you know, they can just take over a, 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 a section of the city and just make it their little party playland. Their next stop was this shell gas station. While police were trying to clear out the area, shots were fired in their direction. This, this one got a little bit uh, uh, out of hand. It certainly was different, and uh, um, they, they, they forced us into a position we didn't want to be. Kent Riddle lives close to where it happened. The way they were scattering from here once the shots were fired, that it's just total chaos, total mayhem around here. It's he calls his home ground zero. He says these pop-up parties have been increasing since the pandemic, and now it seems to only be getting worse. This is not right. People shouldn't be acting like animals. But Police Chief Shane Brandel says his department isn't going to give up so easily. He says they never had to worry about being shot at when ending these late night gatherings, and they're not going to start now. Uh, our guys aren't going to back down. I'm not going to tell them to back down. Uh, we're going to confront it uh, and, and use whatever means necessary to disrupt that because we know how it ends. It ends in violence. The chief says he's not looking forward to any repeat situations throughout the summer, but he's prepared to do what's needed to prevent further violence. Live in the newsroom, I'm Ariana Williams with WCIA 3, your local news leader. Ariana, thank you.